Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. With Halloween around the corner, candy flies off the shelves nationwide. In fact, an estimated 300 tons of candy are sold every single year in preparation for the frightful night. Lollipops, candy corn, chocolates, and gummy bears are staples of Halloween and make for a successful round of trick-or-treating. But candy isn't just popular on Halloween. It's estimated that an average American consumes 8 pounds of candy every year. While candy may be delicious to us humans, it can be a nightmare for cats. It's important to understand just how dangerous candy can be for your cat to make sure that you keep your furry friends safe. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a cat video. Now let's go over why candy is dangerous for cats. Why is my cat trying to eat candy? Believe it or not, your cat is not going after candy for the sweet taste that we enjoy. In fact, cats can't taste sweetness. While human beings have over 9,000 taste buds, cats only have 470. Due to their limited number of taste buds, cats have a much smaller range of taste than humans. Our tastes are typically described as sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and savory. Cats, on the other hand, only seem to possess the taste receptors necessary to perceive salty, sour, bitter, and savory. Another fun fact is that cats are the only mammals known to not be able to taste sweetness. A quick science lesson. Scientists have determined that two genes, Tassler 2 and Tassler 3, are our sweet receptors. However, the Tassler 2 gene is unexpressed in cats, meaning they cannot perceive sweetness in the same way that other mammals can. So you may be wondering, why is my cat going after my candy? If it isn't for the sweet taste, what else does candy have to offer? Well, as many cat owners know, cats are particularly curious creatures. Plus, though they can't taste candy as we can, they can smell it. Between the smell and the fact that they've probably observed you eating it before, it's not surprising that your cat is interested in seeing what candy is all about. If your cat can access sweets, it will most likely take advantage. Why can't my cat eat candy? As a general rule, you should keep all types of candy out of the reach of your cat. Even the smallest piece of candy can wreak havoc on your cat's digestive system. The wrappers or exterior coating of the candy can also have very negative effects. Now it's time to discuss logistics behind why cats can't have candy. By understanding just how much damage candy does, you'll get a grasp on why it's so important to keep it away from your cat. Halloween candies in particular are almost always individually wrapped. While this is a great thing to ensure safety and proper sanitation for us humans to eat, it can pose additional threats to your cat's health. Most wrappers are made of a combination of plastic and aluminum. Some may also be made of cellophane or various types of foil. These materials can be incredibly difficult for your cat to digest, so they may cause blockages and other problems in its digestive tract. If your cat can access a stash of Halloween candy, they are likely going to eat the wrappers. As your cat can't distinguish the wrapper from the candy itself, it'll probably eat the entire thing, resulting in a medical emergency. While sugar, the primary ingredient in candy, isn't necessarily toxic to cats, it's not healthy by any means. Sugars do not make up a huge part of a cat's natural diet, so their digestive system is not designed to break it down properly. Therefore, sugar can cause many digestive issues if it's eaten in large portions. While one piece of candy isn't likely to have serious health repercussions for your cat, it's highly recommended that you avoid giving your cat any candy at all. If your cat eats sugar, it may experience nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. All of these symptoms are very unpleasant for your cat, so that one piece of candy definitely isn't worth it. Aside from digestive issues, sugar can cause teeth issues and weight gain in the long term. Some candies have ingredients that are much more dangerous for cats than sugar. Artificial sweeteners, including xylitol, are extremely toxic to cats. Even a very small amount of xylitol can have serious health ramifications. If xylitol enters your cat's digestive system, its thyroid gland will release a significant amount of insulin which will lead to a sudden severe drop in blood sugar. This can have serious consequences on your cat, including seizures or even death. This ingredient may induce liver failure, which can also lead to death. Overall, xylitol and other artificial sweeteners are extremely dangerous and it cannot be emphasized enough that candies containing them should go nowhere near your cat. Some common candies that contain xylitol include many brands of gum, mints, lollipops, licorice, hard candies, and soft candies. Chocolate also poses threats to your cat's health. While the dangers of chocolate are much more commonly discussed in the case of dogs, it's also toxic for cats. 
Chocolate contains a chemical compound known as theobromine that cats cannot digest properly. Since your cat's body cannot metabolize it, it becomes toxic. This is also the case with caffeine. Another problem with chocolate is that it contains lactose. Despite the stereotypical depiction of milk-loving cats, cats are actually lactose intolerant. So they have trouble digesting the lactose in chocolate as well as the theobromine. Both chocolate and caffeinated products should be kept away from your cat in all cases. The consumption of theobromine can cause your cat severe discomfort and, in extreme cases, may lead to hospitalization or death. What to do if your cat eats candy If your cat eats candy, it's incredibly important to closely monitor its behavior for strange or out-of-place activity. Make sure that you are acting calmly and keeping your cat in a relaxed state if possible. Stroke them and talk to them in a soft, quiet tone. Do your best not to freak your cat out as they may exacerbate the situation. With that said, if you notice that your cat has gotten into chocolate or candy, stay calm and act quickly. The first step is to immediately call your veterinarian. Let them know what type of candy your cat ate and how much of it. Then they will instruct you on further action. You'll either be told to closely monitor your cat or to bring them into the veterinarian's office right away. If possible, bring the wrapper into the veterinarian's office to help them figure out what your cat ate. There are several symptoms you should watch out for if your cat has only eaten a very small amount of candy to determine if they need to go to the veterinarian for more intensive care. The most common symptoms include behavioral changes, digestion problems, and changes in appearance. Behavioral changes that indicate your cat needs medical attention due to consuming candy may include restlessness, aggression, or hyperactivity. Additionally, your cat may be obsessively drinking water. Constant urination is also an indication that something is seriously wrong. Digestion problem symptoms will likely be diarrhea, vomiting, or nausea. Changes in your cat's typical appearance could be a change in their breathing patterns, breathing extremely rapidly or shallowly, for example. They might also experience a fever or low blood pressure. Their muscles may twitch rapidly and uncontrollably. In more severe cases, candy consumption can cause your cat to seize or enter a comatose state. If your local veterinarian is unavailable, immediately call an emergency vet service or the Pet Poison Hotline at 855-764-7661. The most important thing when your cat has consumed candy is acting efficiently and effectively. You need to get your cat help as soon as you can. So contact the right people, observe their behavior closely, and get them treatment as soon as you can. How to prevent your cat from eating candy As we've established, candy is incredibly dangerous for cats and should be strictly avoided. It's better to prevent your cat from eating candy in the first place than to have to deal with the consequences afterwards. Being cautious and preventative is the best course of action. After all, if you can prevent an emergency, you will be saving both you and your cat a lot of trouble. So how do you prevent your cat from eating candy? Cats are notoriously curious and sneaky, so you'll need to make sure that your candy is in a very secure place that your cat cannot access. You could put your candy in a locked or secure box somewhere up high on your refrigerator, for example. The most important thing is to keep your candy inaccessible. Avoid open baskets or bins. Instead, keep your candy in a box that has a secure lid. If you have a pantry that has a secure door, you could also store candy there. Aside from the candy itself, it's also important to secure your trash cans or anything that may have candy remnants inside. Make sure your trash can is not open or accessible to your cat. Additionally, if you have anyone else living with you and your cat, especially children, make sure that they are fully informed on the importance of keeping the candy away from your cat. Children can be tempted to give cats candy because since it's something they enjoy, they assume that your cat will enjoy it as well. So it's important to tell them how dangerous candy is for your cat so they don't accidentally give them candy. As a cat owner, it's your job to make sure your furry friend is happy and healthy. Part of that responsibility is keeping candy away from them. Candy can have serious health consequences on cats and can, in severe cases, lead to death. So keep your candy in a safe, secure place that your cat cannot access. And if your cat does get into candy, stay calm and act quickly. Call your veterinarian or, if necessary, the pet poison hotline. However, as discussed, the best way to keep your cat safe and healthy is through prevention. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.